What's up everyone, Sega Shooter here and I found a thing called Death Tales. I don't know what this game's all about. I've not heard about it. If anyone else has heard about it, please let me know. But right now, let's get into this and see what's up. Oh shit, there's two players. Oh shit. Mental no. Bring someone with me. So let's see what this is all about. Oh, that's simple. Oh. that he always forgets where his kids went. Wow. Father of the year right there. Missing. Okay, this must be a quest. Missing headwear. Sir Grenul. Sir Grenu. Grenui. I think that's how you say it. The gentleman frog has asked you to look for his hat. He last remembers having it before swimming in a pond in the great forest. Okay. That sounds pretty simple. Tragic fate, as you know, one can hardly be a figure of high standing in regard without a fine hat. Alas, mine has gone missing. The last time I remember seeing it, I was preparing to take a swim in a pond in the great forest. It wouldn't do at all to go swimming with a fine hat on, wouldn't it? I must have removed it before jumping in and left it behind. Oh, I feel as though a part of me has been torn away. I simply cannot be seen without about town like this. Imagine the scandal. Perhaps if you're not busy, I could impose upon you to look for it. I would reward you handsomely. Okay. Can I... can I go? Okay, nice. Seems pretty simple. All right, let's do this. No. All right. Pretty simple. Interesting. Nice art. It's got a nice art style to it. Okay. What does this do? Ah, oh, crap! They're kicking the shit out of me. Stop. Mess. What is 
with all my stuff. So many. Now let me die. Sick with fever. 
Will you find it? Return with the soul and you will be rewarded. Pretty simple stuff. Okay. This is... This is... An art style I can actually appreciate as well. Just as much as probably everything else. Possibly, maybe, I don't know. But let's go. Soulless. Can't even do nothing. Which one is this one? Okay, missing headwear. The mother. Let's do this one. Ah, oh, this one's a lot more peaceful. This one has a more peaceful. Oh, you know what? I didn't actually look at these trees, but look at them behind me. They're actually shaped. Oh. I just, I ran through all this and didn't realize it. Go figure. Huh. Alright. Oh, wow. Bam. Shoot, while I'm just... Shoot, while I'm pretty much playing all of these demos and whatnot, I'm actually learning a lot about making... I'm actually learning a lot more about how games really work. Hello. That's freaky. Here, catch my mixtape. <laughs> I'm actually learning a good bit. Well, I'm learning how how some games work in a sense. Oh crap. Don't kill me. animation to finish for me to switch sides otherwise I'd be screwed so if I got surrounded if I got surrounded I'd be completely destroyed because then I'm so focused because then I can't switch sides immediately to defend myself jeez there's so many of them I'm about to die I'm gonna die yep I died damn it I probably move to a different spawn. Let's see. Yep. Oops. Or maybe. Wait. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I did. That's a little interesting mechanic, but I hope there's something else that goes well with this. Cause if it, cause it can't just be. Cause in my opinion, in my opinion. I can't really picture just a you respawn in a different location all the time you die every time you die. I can't there's gotta be something that goes with this. Cause I feel like this game could actually be very interesting. Like this could be money this could be money well spent if you need just a time cons you just need a time consumer. This looks like it could be great for like a time consuming game if you because it reminds me of a few stick pe stick games I used to play on my phone and on the and way back then on my computer. Well, now on my computer, back on school computers actually. Because there used to be um, I forgot what it was called. I think it was Angry Sticks. I think I don't remember. I think it was the one for my phone, and I used to play that one a lot. Whereas I just ran around just fighting everyone and doing something similar to this. Can I harm you with this? Nah, I didn't mean to hit you with that. I was trying to see if I could hit you with the ice block. Oh wait, actually I did reset. Okay. So this one's probably different. So this one's likely different. Okay. Well, I trapped them all in one spot. That saved me a great deal. Ah, oh, I was close to it. A worried woman stands over an infant boy coughing and writhing in his crib. As you approach the dying child, his mother becomes aware of your presence. You! Wait! Don't take my son! I beg you, take me instead! You have a choice in front of you. Whose soul do you claim? Do you claim the child or the mother? Ooh, that's 
it's actually tough. My mission is to take... My mission is to take the child, but the mother is offering herself to me. Mm. I might... Actually, I might do both choices and see what goes on. So first, we'll start off with the mother. See what happens there. You claim the mother's soul, and her body falls to the floor next to the child's crib. The infant relaxes into sleep. He will live without his mother, but he will live. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's see what that happens later on. Turn it in. You offer the woman's soul to the Grim Reaper. This is not what we expected, Reaper. This is the soul of an old. This soul is old and worn. We will take it, but we are gravely disappointed. Okay, that's pretty simple. Alright, now we're gonna try out the other one where we take the child. Let's see what happens at that point. What happens if I take the child? The infant's body stiffens and he cries out softly as you claim his soul. His mother collapses to the floor next to the crib sobbing. Offer the child's soul to the Grim Reaper. Ah, the soul of a child. See how it shines, unblemished by many pains of a long past, of a long life. And the mortals only see a tragedy. We accept your offer, Reaper. Well, I guess that's it. What is this? Yeah, that's it. I guess that's it for this beta. It seems alright, relatively. It's a beta, but I'm guessing they're... I know that... Uh, I know they're probably gonna just improve on this over time. Like, it's just... Look at this. Like, you have to fix those attack animations, so it's just... So you don't... So you can just switch back and forth when attacking, because it's just... That's pretty bad if you're getting ambushed. There's that little day and night shift that it does, and it's actually kind of cool when it when the day starts changing when you die. And so far, not really much of a there's not much of a little look into the story so far, but I'm giving it I'm gonna give it a chance. When the full game comes out, I'm gonna give it a chance just to see what comes of it. So if anything. I guess that does it for this beta. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time.